Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Roblox. And today, I am playing a game called My Prison. So, Doge is going to be creating his very own prison, and uh, hopefully, I can keep all the inmates inside and no one escapes. Uh, but I need to first pick a plot of land to build my prison. So, let's see, where should I put this? Oh, right here would be good, right next to the city, so we can grab all the criminals from the city. So let's go and hit claim here and start building. Alright, so I've just jumped in here. We've got a uh, daily reward, apparently. I'll go and claim that. Oh, I, I have to join the group, apparently. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh, but here I am. Uh, this is Doge's prison, apparently. Uh, we've got ourselves a uh, police car that can fit uh, one criminal in, apparently. Let's go inside and explore. Is this my office? It's a very small office. But we got a few donuts around here. We got a nice computer. I've got, uh, looks like three different cells here to uh, hold the uh, prisoners in. Uh, and I don't know how to close the doors. They just close automatically. Yeah, it looks like they close automatically. And is this a menu? What do we have? Uh, the same as yesterday. Enjoy your meal. Okay. That's cool. That's apparently our menu. We do have uh, some treadmills over here that we can use. It's apparently going 70 miles per hour. That is a fast treadmill. Uh, can we make it go faster? If I press this button? I don't think it actually goes faster. Uh, we've also got uh, some weights. We got a nice little uh, sitting area. We got phones so you can call people. What's in here? Oh, this is the showers. So we got the showers, and then what's in here? The cafeteria. Apparently they get a soda machine over here as well. Uh, so I've got a, a pretty decent prison here. So let's go ahead and uh, head over to where these arrows are pointing. Uh, is it pointing to that guy? Yeah, I think we gotta go talk to this person. Okay, so I've just taken the tutorial here. So now that I know how to run the prison, let's go get in our police car here and pick up some criminals. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump in the car. Uh, we need to first turn on the lights. There we go. We got the lights going. Now, uh, Doge is probably going to get arrested himself just by driving. Doge, can you control the car? Oh, this is not going well. Looks like there was a car crash over here. Let's see, are there any criminals? Wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Let's turn the, uh, lights off. There's a lot of people around here. Any of you criminals? I have no idea. Can I just, like, arrest anyone? Uh, who here looks like a criminal? Is this person walking inside of another person? Wait a minute. What, what is happening here? I can't even arrest them. Alright, let's find someone else. Uh, there's a, a hot dog stand. What happened over at the hot dog stand? They put ketchup everywhere. Hot dogs for two dollars. You know what? I'm gonna arrest this guy. Let's just grab this person. There we go. I got one. I, I got a criminal. Let's just shove him in the car here. How do I put him in the car? Uh, wait, I need to go. Wait, can you put him in the trunk? Is that where you put him? Okay, well, I guess he's in there. Cool. Okay, we got ourselves our first criminal. Let's go ahead and put on the lights and let's uh, head back to the prison here. So this is why I put my prison right next to the city so we can easily uh, get the prisoners back. So here we are. We'll go ahead and get out of the car. Let's grab the guy out of the trunk. There we go. And uh, let's release him in the prison. There you go. Uh, have fun. We got all kinds of uh, cool stuff here. We got showers. We got food. It looks like this person's going to get some food, so uh, we'll leave him there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and find some more criminals around here, because I think I can hold up to three in my prison right now. So I'm going to see if I can get three of these guys. Okay, so I've got myself three different prisoners here. I think one of them wants something. What do you need? Wait a minute, what is this guy doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing? They're building tunnels. Stop. All right, these guys are already trying to escape. Look at this. There's another tunnel over here. You know, I think they need some guards. So, let's see. How do I get guards? Uh, this is apparently where you build. That's great. How do I uh, hire staff? Prisoners. Oh, uh, apparently that's coming soon. 
Alright, so here's where I can get, uh, apparently some workers. So, there's apparently research. So I can apparently research different, uh, levels of security for the prisoners. So let's go to, oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna get minimum security, but that's way too expensive, and that's even more expensive. All I wanted to do was hire some, uh, guards. So let's hire this guy. So it's $50 to buy and then $5 an hour. Let's hire him. So this is Tom. Alright, let's see where's Tom at. Tom, I need you to get these prisoners under control. They're trying to, uh, already escape prison. They haven't even been here that long. So, uh, just go in there. Make sure they're not digging any tunnels because they're already doing that. Let's just make sure they're sleeping in here. Oh, they got little teddy bears. Cool, they seem to be sleeping. They're not planning any escape. Yep, everything seems to be fine. What is this? I See, this is why we can't have nice things. I gave them this nice soda machine, and they just throw the soda all over the floor. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of that. Wait a minute, what's this guy doing over here? He says he's trying to escape. You, be you better not be escaping. No, no, stop, stop, stop digging. St where, where's my guard? Tom, Tom, where are you at? Are you gonna let this happen over here? They're already digging out. Okay, you know what? We need more guards. Uh, no, another one. Let's hire another guard. Now I've got, uh, two guards. Uh, being a guard means doing a lot of things. Guards watch over prisoners, prevent riots, stop fights, find escape tunnels. Okay, so they do find escape tunnels, which is good. Alright, so I should probably get a chef. Because right now I don't actually have a chef. But I'm hoping I can do these jobs, because these guys are pretty uh, expensive. Like, to get a janitor, it's $500 plus another 20 an hour. So, oh, what is happening in here? Really? Okay, I gotta figure out how they actually cook. It's right now breakfast time. Uh, wait, is this all the guards do, is they just flag a tunnel? They're not gonna get rid of it, they just put flags? Well, that's not helpful. I need someone to actually, like, get rid of the tunnels. Uh, now I gotta figure out how do I actually cook. Because I don't want to buy a chef because they're pretty expensive. I think they're already escaping. I had six and now there's only four. There's so many tunnels. How am I supposed to keep this under control? I know they were saying it was easy to escape, but this is ridiculous. I have two guards here. How are they getting out this easily? I need to hire like five guards. I need a desk. Wait, so I have to get a desk for each... Oh, really? Okay, here, let me build a desk. Uh, what do I need in here? Anything? I can get a, a fancy desk. Can I just get, like, an old wooden desk? Does this work? Or does it have to be uh, a computer desk? Now, the other thing is I also have to figure out where I'm going to put this stuff. Because right now, I don't have a lot of room. So I guess what I could do is break down this wall here. Oh, no. No. Cannot build during a riot. What is happening? Oh, they're all leaving. No. No, they're escaping. What? Okay, quick. We gotta get in the car, Doge. We gotta stop these guys. Put on the sirens. Get back here. Oh, I should not have broken the gate. Wait, there's still, um, there's still one more. Alright, I think we're good. The, uh, the music stopped. Uh, can I start building again, or is that gonna be a problem? Okay, it looks like I can build again. So, one of the prisoners stayed, which is nice. They're, they're a nice, uh, prisoner, apparently. They want to stay here. That's a good thing. So, I, all I want to do is just extend this out so I can actually build a bigger office for my guards. So, let's get a floor. I'll just get a, a concrete floor here, put that in. And then I should be able to just section off this area with some walls. So I'll put... Uh, I guess I don't really need a wall here. Alright, so I've extended the office here. So I can put a desk over there. I can get a, uh, a desk right here. And then... Can I put a desk over here as well? Yeah, I think that'll work. So now I've got a, uh, a nice little desk set up. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the walls put down for the office here. I have to go and grab up some more prisoners because the other ones all escaped. 
I only have one left. And I need more money so I can actually pay my guards. Because uh, one prisoner is not enough. So let me go get some more. And then uh, I'll be back once I have some more prisoners. I gotta get uh, some uh, better security for my prison. Because they're breaking out way too easily right now. Alright, so I've been trying to get some more prisoners in here. And I found this uh, repairman. I think this is the person that I need to get. Because they apparently fix the tunnels because right now I have to keep fixing these tunnels all the guards do is they put flags down on them so they're easier to spot but uh, they don't actually fix the tunnels so I need to get a repairman who's gonna fix things and then uh, also a janitor to kind of clean up but the repairman's $500 and I've lost a bunch of prisoners uh, from the uh, the riot that happened which is not good so I have to keep going back over here but every time I leave the prison, they dig more tunnels. And the time I get back, there's like one that's already left. Which is really annoying because I need to get my uh, prisoner count up so I can actually make some more money. Okay, so I finally got my prisoner count back up to six, which is great. All of the, uh, the prisoners here are sleeping in their beds. Uh, none of them are digging tunnels, which is great. Uh, they're making messes with the, uh, the food that I'm giving them. Uh, but I did actually hire a repairman. They're right here. So this guy is going to hopefully uh, dig... Uh, well, he's not going to dig tunnels. But he's going to fill in the tunnels that these guys keep making. So I need to work on upgrading these cells and get more of them. So I got to figure out a way of building like a whole cell block somewhere. Like I could probably section off this area... And then turn this into a, uh, a cell block. But to do that, I need to uh, break the walls. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall like this. And then I'm going to get the, uh, the classic wall uh, that goes right here. Or what I could do is extend all the way over here and use this entire area. I think this would work. So hopefully I have enough money to do this. Uh, I don't know if I can use this area over here for anything. I could probably use that to expand my office, actually. So I'm going to section off this whole area, delete these trays. Oh, I get money for that. That's really good. So now I can open this up without the uh, prisoners escaping. Let's give them some floor. Uh, now, what do they have in there? It looks like they have tiled floor, which is pretty expensive. It's like one of the most expensive things you can get. But we got to make our prisoners feel happy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, some walls up here. So I'm going to do... What's the smallest like cell that I can make? Because I don't have a lot of money here. So I'm going to do probably one right here. Leave like a two or a one block hallway. If I do three blocks how long are these these are four blocks so i could do four block uh cells like this they're gonna be four by two and i can put how many of these can i fit in oh that works out perfectly all right so this is five cells right here that i can put in i'm actually going to replace these walls with uh window walls uh, and then the next thing i need to do is uh get the uh the front set up so i need to get reinforced door what do i have over here these are just regular bars so i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put bars uh all the way down here can i build these oh i didn't want to build it there if only there was an undo button because every time i make a mistake i gotta delete it which gives you less money back so i can go ahead and build this for 300 and then put doors in. Alright, so I've got all the uh, the cells put in. So now all I have to do is build their very expensive floor. Oh, great. That's $480. I don't have enough. I need 57 more. So, you know what? Instead, I'm going to give them concrete floor. We're going to have to give them a cheaper floor. Because I don't have the money to buy luxuries right now. I'll upgrade it eventually. So... Uh, what do they have in here? They've got a sink, a toilet, and a bed. Is I think the minimum stuff. 
Uh, maybe I can give them a shower. Once we make more money, I'll give them, like, their own private shower. But right now, I need to get the bare minimum. So they're gonna get a toilet, a sink, and then they're gonna get... I can either... Yeah, I might get a wall bed. It's the cheapest option. But I need, uh, something... Uh, so that I can house more, uh, prisoners. So I'm gonna give them all wall beds. They're probably gonna have nightmares and complain about a bunch of stuff. But at least they've got something to sleep on. Oh, I can't even afford toilets for everyone. Okay, so I finally got all nine prisoners in the, uh, the prison here. And apparently they're complaining they don't have a, uh, enough, uh, places to work out. So, I gotta build them some more, uh, activities. So, let's see what I've got in here. Uh, I can get a, a... Why is that so expensive? Never mind. What about a pool table? You guys like pool tables? I don't have enough money for it, but, uh, I can get them this. The cheapest thing in here is probably gonna be the treadmills. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more equipment in. So, that I can hopefully, uh, get some workout. I could get a basketball hoop. That could be fun. I don't have enough money. Are they escaping? No! They just escaped. Now I'm down to six. This is what I've been dealing with this entire time. Just to get nine of these people in here is very challenging. Because every time you drive off, someone digs a tunnel and escapes. Having just one uh, maintenance guy is not enough. I need a bunch more maintenance people to uh, keep these prisoners... From escaping. Uh, apparently the uh, the food rations are too small. That's another thing I gotta figure out. I really need to hire a chef. Why are you digging a tunnel? Get get rid of this tunnel. I'm making $90 an hour, which is uh, not bad, but I would like to make more, which is why I wanted to get more prisoners. But every time I try and get another one, they dig a tunnel and escape. So I would say this is kind of a successful prison. I can hold probably about six prisoners without anyone leaving. That's probably a, a good amount. So I'm going to grab one more here. See if I can get them back without someone escaping. I think the best time to grab people is probably at night. Because everyone's sleeping and I don't have to worry about them escaping at night time. Now the only thing I just thought about is I have six prisoners. It's shower time. Do I have enough showers for all these people? I think that might be a problem. They're going to start complaining they don't have enough showers. Now, they're still complaining about food. So, I got four showers in here. Uh, so, I've got a decent amount. I've got seven people that have to share four showers. That's not too bad. So, we'll see uh, if they uh, start complaining. They keep digging tunnels. Stop. It's not that bad in here, is it? Maybe the maintenance guy only fills in the tunnels if they have a flag. Maybe I need more security guards. I don't have the money to hire any more people, though. That's the problem, is I need more prisoners to get money. So that's going to be uh, pretty much it for today's episode. Uh, Doge has uh, successfully built a, uh, a prison. I would say uh, it's going pretty well. I've got seven prisoners in here. I can fit about nine with the amount of beds that I've got, but nine is way too many to handle. I can barely handle six. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.